Hi all, Mass Barncup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we are bringing out the large Tesla coil, the dual resonant solid state Tesla coil version 3, which is uh, able to pull up to 20 kilowatt. And today we're just going to test it with a iron dummy load. So let's just see if it works with after yeah four, five years in storage, thanks to Corona and also me having another full-time job next to this. So yeah, let's test it out. So just a quick rundown. We have the primary coil with a iron dummy load on top. Down here we have the three-phased input AC to the coil. We have the driver in the gray box. I brought my six or three-phased six amp variac. Brought my scope, I brought my power monitor, I brought my on delay safety box. And I'll just forgot a single cable, so I can't really do any current measurements. So I can only go up to 400 amps uh, in this setup. But I also have my differential probe sitting on it, so we can at least see the voltage against the current. So that is what we are going to see today. I got the interrupter connected now, sitting at the 14 BBS, lowest possible pulse cycle width. So uh, right now we can turn up the variac. And we start hearing some chattering. So now we can hear it pinging the iron piece over there. Let's see if we can get the trigger ring here on the scope right. It's triggering on channel one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's almost a perfect zero crossing already. Well, what more could you want? We are at a 60 volt AC input. So let's uh, try to turn down the pulse width time and Let's see, right now we are having about 400 amps in the circuit. And we can re really hear it now. We can try to switch up to the high BPS setting. So let's just get a bit closer. It's like the uh, burst mode is acting up a bit. Ah, it's running drive battery on the interrupter. Let me just get another one. All right, so uh, got another interrupter on now with fresh batteries and I'm at 160 volt AC input. So that's some 300 volt three phased. And just go up in frequency here. So here I have it humming at a nice 50 hertz interrupter tone. It still works after the 4-5 years in storage. Only need some fresh battery on the interrupter. So that's a small deal on storing this, this for so long. I'm very happy and you can look forward to soon see some new Spark videos from the large Tesla coils. So until next time, see ya.